anyway. So I was gonna- hi Luna, I said, and- and hello, and- and hi. I just- I had a lot of buttons to push. I didn't get my chats ready, that's probably why. I was muted. I'd, I had to get my chats ready and they weren't on at the beginning of the stream and I'm just sad, okay? Anyway, I was saying this whole time uh, how much I am like really dreading finishing this game because like I honestly, well one, I wasn't expecting to finish Gaiden before Persona 5 Tactica tomorrow. So I'm like glad slash sad that we're actually probably gonna finish it today. But like, I, I love Yakuza. I like love this series so much that I don't want to part from it. Like, it, I don't know. This is just like a, a hard thing, a harsh reality. Like, I, I sincerely am so attached to the Yakuza franchise that like I, I hate when these stories end so much. Yeah, this is probably a finale day. I can guarantee it. I don't think my my tweet went through. God damn it. Oh, it's because I'm not... Oh my god, it's because I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. I'm a fucking idiot, dude. Jesus Christ. I know, it does feel like we only just started the game. Man. Shit's sad. Ah. <sighs> I'm sad already. And I didn't Wowie, even start three today. Years. Been a great ride, Chris, a hype. I know we will only have to part with this series until January, but that's too far. I'm also like dreading the finale. By the way, Soma Chronicles, thank you so much for the 36 month resub. I really appreciate you subbing that long. Holy crap. Three long years, and I very much appreciate it. Um dang um but i don't know man what what scares me the most is everybody has been saying that gaiden you know so far there's nothing in this game that like really makes you cry but people are saying they're like bawling their eyes out and like this is the most emotional they've ever been and i'm like we haven't hit anything super emotional yet. That means like we're about to hit like a wave. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating hitting a wave of just misery today. And just knowing that that's coming is just scary. Very scary. I'm not ready. I feel like I'm just not emotionally ready for today, but I just have to do it. <sighs> yeah, cause that's so great. <clears throat> no, I never play demos. I don't want to be spoiled by the game at all. Yeah, everyone's saying that they cried like a bitch at the end of this game. God damn it, what is- is Kiryu gonna fucking die? Okay, they can't do that because he's like, you know, in the next game. But like, god damn. I'm only imagining like what the fuck can happen that's making y'all cry so much. I'm like, I'm running through scenarios in my head. Like, what are they gonna do? Kill Haruka? They can't do that. They can't kill a child in my video game. I don't know. Like, just have no idea where this is going, but everyone's like bawling my, their eyes out over this game. <clears throat> so I'm very scared, needless to say. I'm going to probably be delaying a little bit here because I'm a little bit scared. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> I'm just quickly making sure that, uh, okay, my tweet went through. We're good. We're good. You like the Majima outfit? Thank you. Just wearing the blazer today. I just thought it was, you know, more fitting. Ah. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Infinite wealth is going to be long as fuck. Well, that's a good thing, but I don't really want to know anything about in infinite wealth. The only thing I've seen is Ichiban's trailer, and that's the only thing I want to see. So, yeah, don't want to talk about infinite wealth. I know the whole plot is probably out there by now, but um, yeah, I would just ask that you not bring up anything with infinite wealth. 
Ichiban's is the only thing worthy of talking about. It's like, I feel like... To me, Yakuza 8, I feel like is going to be such a special game. That I truly don't want to know anything. I'm going to be like... I'm going to hold the biggest grudge forever if someone even attempts to spoil me. Like, you can, you can fuck right out of my life. I, I just... I'm so attached to the Yakuza franchise that I'm not fucking around. <laughs> you will be demolished off the face of this earth if you mention anything about infinite wealth. You will be insta-banned, actually. Not even like a timeout. Like, the mods have full permission to just like absolutely delete your existence. I am too attached. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, completely blind, especially to something as special as we all know Yakuza 8 is gonna be. Like, I, I just, I just want to keep that level of, like, really blind. I feel like it's just gonna be a very special game. I mean, I don't know. Like, Kiryu and Ichiban are two very, obviously, legendary protagonists. They build up, they built up Ichiban so well. And I think just having them as dual uh, protagonists is just going to be a fucking like franchise breaking. I don't know. Like it's it's pretty great. Probably going to be as good as like dual pro tag of Yakuza Zero kind of moments. Like Majima and Kiryu were legendary. Like just the, how it all started. It just I don't know. I love this series. Have I ever mentioned how much I love this series? Because I fucking love this series. Like ugh. <clears throat> the mods can snap their fingers and will disappear. Yeah, if you mention anything about infinite wealth. Yeah. Not messing around. <clears throat> Tell us more about how you love it. Bro, do you see this cardboard cutout that I got of Majima? I wouldn't have wanted any other character in my background permanently for the rest of my life. Like, I am stuck with this cardboard cutout. I spent way too much money on it. Almost 300 fucking dollars on this motherfucker. Like, I am sticking with this. I love him so much. I love everything about Yakuza. I wouldn't want anybody else in my background for all of existence. Like, for as long as I make content, I would not want anything else. I love Yakuza. <laughs> Yes, I spent $300 on that piece of shit. Because <laughs> it's not like a regular cardboard cutout. I got it upgraded so that it's waterproof. So that I could actually take it outside. It's going to last longer. Because, like, cardboard breaks down over time. So if I wanted a regular cardboard cutout, it would have been, like, $125, I think, or $150. So I basically, like, doubled the price so that it was more durable. So that it lasted forever. I want that shit to last forever. How much did I get the Majima jacket for? Honestly, I'm not proud of it because, like, Shein is a terrible place that you shouldn't buy clothing from, but that is where I got it. And it was, like, 15 bucks. It's a really cheap... It's not really that. It's not, like, uh, well-made. It's very cheap. But I did it for my photo shoot at the time, so I just have it now. But in theory, I would love to buy, like, a legitimate one that's actually made out of leather and looks a lot nicer than this one. I'm not too happy with this. So yeah, I had to buy this jacket quick for a photo shoot at the time. Not proud of it. I don't even know if it's still on Shein at the time uh, by now, but like I would highly discourage even buying anything off of Shein. <clears throat> yeah, that's the idea. Actually, I was gonna put the cutout. I'm, I like this cardboard cutout will make cameos in a lot of my future videos because I could take it outside and stuff. So um yeah, it, it'll it'll be camo be cam cameoing. That's a word I just made up in several videos. <clears throat> Watching the stream on YouTube and I am only here to see chat. Oh no. <laughs> well, you can see the chat on the screen. That's why I have the combined chats on here. So if you're on YouTube, you can see the Twitch chat over here. So I try to do it that way. <laughs> How much does a real, like, a real Majima jacket cost? Oh my god, thousands? 
if someone if someone made the Majima jacket legitimately, it would cost like I would not even be surprised at like a two thousand three thousand dollar price point. Like real snakeskin, real coloring, real finish, real tailoring. It's that's thousands of dollars. That's that's a lot of fucking money. These suits that they wear in these games are not fucking cheap. I mean, that's supposed to be what Yakuza is, too. They don't wear cheap stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I actually don't know because like, uh, like I'm familiar with a lot of like leather costs different types of leather costs, but I actually don't know the price point of specifically snakeskin. I would have to look that up. Because, yeah, I, I am familiar with a lot of leathers, uh, but snakeskin, I'm actually not as well versed. Hmm. <clears throat> That's pricey. Yeah, that's like every Yakuza character, though. I think, it, with the minor exception of Akiyama, I think Akiyama might have, like, the cheapest suit. But even then, he still dresses nice. And I say cheapest suit as in, like, his suit is maybe, like, $1,000 <laughs> in comparison to everybody else's, which is well over $1,000. Um, yeah, the richest guy has, like, the the least expensive outfit, which is very fitting for Akiyama's character. I know that they did that on purpose. But, um, yeah, I think... I think Akiyama... I have to think about other people's outfits. Well, Saejima I don't really count. I'm just thinking about, like, the, the Yakuza that wear suits, specifically. Wait, is Akiyama even Yakuza? Okay. <laughs> Okay, oh, details! Uh, details! <laughs> uh, I don't... Know. Actually, what is... What do you consider... What is Akiyama? <laughs> what, you, what is... What even is he? What do you, who do you call that, man? Himbo? Just... Uh, himbo. I mean, yeah, he's a loan shark. I don't want to call him a loan shark, though. Like, I don't know. I just I kind of just want to call him a himbo. <laughs> Have I mentioned I miss Akiyama? <laughs> uh, I need to stop talking about him. I do think about him a lot, though. Anyway, um... So anyway, yeah, his suit. His suit is not that expensive. Lone him- <laughs> A lone himbo. <laughs> Ah, uh, Date. I miss Date, too. What happened? Wait. Okay, if I recall, at the end of Yakuza 6, wasn't Date supposed to be the only one that knew about Kiryu's secret? Where's Date now? He was supposed to be the keeper of the secret. I, I thought I remembered that at the end. Yeah, some secret. I know. But, like, the thing that I wonder now is, like, where is Date? If he was supposed to be the keeper of the secret... Where are you now, buddy? Some great job you did! Oh, yeah, wait. I think Akiyama was in that scene, actually, too. I'm trying to remember. My, me my memory is a bit vague. The end of Yakuza 6, they, like, they sit at the bar. And Date, I think it was Date and Akiyama that were like talking and Nakiyama's like, so like Kiri is not really dead, right? Wink, 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 wink. And Date's like, yeah, he's totally dead. Wink, 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 wink. That's how it ended, right? I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it was like Akiyama and Date together. And then Date was like really bad at keeping the secret. So Akiyama was like, yeah, I get your hint, buddy. I guess Kiri is alive. <laughs> I know you're lying and I won't rest until I learn the truth. Wait, he actually said that? Oh shit. I don't remember. That makes me really hope that they tie that into this game. Because, like, I don't know. 
if this is supposed to be like Yakuza 6.5 slash 7 different POV, um, I don't know. It would it would be nice to have that continuity of like the end of 6 happened this way and then like Date and Akiyama come back at some point. I don't know, maybe to protect Kiryu's secret or something like that. That would be really cool. Wait, now I'm really hopeful for an ending like that, but I doubt it's going to happen. I'm so doubtful that it's going to happen. Oh! <sighs> God damn it. I need to like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to drop my expectations right now. I don't want my expectations to be up here, but like, I'm trying to bring it down. <laughs> I, I need to bring up I need to bring down my expectations. I well regardless I know that I'll enjoy the ending of this game, whatever it is, but yeah, I'm I'm like my my brain is just so fixated on Akiyama, man. <laughs> I, I, just, I just miss him a lot. I just uh. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm just asking for a crumb of Akiyama. Like, there's not even a mention. Not a, not anything. Like, they have fucking Kaito in this game. They're mentioning, like, every other character. But no Akiyama? No Date? Why are we here? Why are we here? Just to suffer. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Chato, for the five or four month reason. I really appreciate it. Hana, aw, Hana chan. I know, she's great. I just don't want Akiyama to get like the cow do treatment. Or she just like disappears into nothingness and never returns. And never is mentioned ever again. Like, could you imagine that Akiyama gets that treatment? Shinada too. Well, Shinada is only like in one game, though. <laughs> that makes more sense to me. Like, same with Tanamura. Like, they were only in one game. These, like, at least like Kaoru and Akiyama are characters that appear in multiple games. So it makes more sense for them, but they only appear in one game. So like, I can understand a character being exclusive to one game. I mean, like, yeah, Kaoru, she was in like, what, one and a half? One and a half Yakuza games? I'm trying to remember. One point two five, yeah. It was like literally, God, it was so awkward. Like you start the for the next Yakuza game. I don't remember the numbers. You start the next one, and they're just like, "Oh, Kaoru went to work in the United States, and that's all." You just don't hear from her ever again. <laughs> like, oh, okay. But we'll see. I don't know if they'll ever bring her back. I don't think so. Same with Tanamura and Shinada, but like, I don't want Akiyama to end up like them. I really don't. And like, whenever Seven came out and, um, I'm going to remember his name. Nick? Ogata, I think his name was. Please tell me I got that right. I was really worried that, um, Nick was going to be a replacement for Akiyama. Whoa! Oh, thank you so much, Nervous, for the $5 super chat. I appreciate it. It's the Friday night. But yeah, like, Nick Ogata, I feel like, was supposed to be created to, like, replace Akiyama. Like, I love Nick, don't get me wrong, but, like, there's a lot of similarities there, and I'm, I just... I just don't want that to happen. 
Wait! Wait a second. I think I forgot a little plot point, didn't I? Doesn't Nick have like a side story or something that mentions something about Akiyama? Wait, am I... Am I fucking... Something about like an old friend? Don't, don't Nick and Akiyama know each other? I can't remember seven anymore. <laughs> I think that I, I thought that there was like a, a mention from Nick on that topic. Or no, was it Ichiban? Wait, who knows Akiyama? Were Ichiban maybe and Akiyama were friends? No, somebody is. Somebody in seven. It was mentioned, I thought. Am I going crazy? I'm going crazy then. They never said his name. It's just implied somewhere. It, yeah, his, and no, I should clarify. His name is never mentioned. It, there's just like a huge hint to a uh, connection. Maybe I'm going crazy. I really Don't thought there was something. Just think. You are very close to playing the Infinite Wealth demo. I'm not going to be playing the demo. Thank you for the 200 bits. I'm like going crazy then. Hmm. I'll have to... There's like a... There's like a thing in the back of my brain that's saying something about like... Ichiban made a reference at some point to a character that is very much described like Akiyama as like being an old friend from like back in high school or something. I don't know. I guess I'm just going crazy because I, I remember something like that. But... Ugh, fuck. <laughs> I cannot... I don't have any water! Escape! Let's go! brain rot so it's making up shit that doesn't exist god damn it i'm done <laughs> i'm playing this video game okay we're just i'm gonna we're, we're gonna okay it's just, mm. <laughs> okay just get out of here it's I'm getting my construction helmet off. If if shit is about to get real serious in the plot, the helmet goes off. I don't want the helmet ruining my cutscenes, okay? Yes. The the cat whiskers can stay though. I'm sorry, but I think the eye patch also has to go. I want to see the Kiryu expressions, you know what I'm saying? You know what, actually? Yoka. Uh, the cat whiskers stay on, you guys can't- you can't make me take that off, okay? Yeah, the cat whiskers in serious cutscenes. You guys are gonna deal with it, okay? Oh! I didn't show you! Um... I have golden undies. I got them. I I got golden undies. Yeah, they are really broken. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, we're gonna continue the plot. I'm just gonna do a, like I think just plot today. I have nothing else really to do. There's like a few stories, but um, 
Like, there's just these two left. And these guys are just, you know, stuff I can do on my own, but I don't think you care. So yeah, today is just like a straight story day. Wait, question. Can you wear more than one pair of undies? Like, can you wear two of the same armor? Okay, it doesn't look like you can. No, okay, never mind. I have two military bullproof, bulletproof vests and they don't let me wear the same one. Okay, never mind. Imagine if you just wear four pairs of golden undies. You'd be broken. You would absolutely be broken. <laughs> Ah. I um I guess I could finally put points into Yakuza style, but I'm never going to use it. I'm sorry. You would break the game. Could you imagine four pairs of golden undies though? No, it's not that I don't like the Yakuza style. I, I can I can explain in a sec. I'm supposed to mean the Kijin clan's captain at the golf center. Um Uh no, what it's more like, okay, so like I realize my strengths and weaknesses, okay? I have never been good at Yakuza games. I am not a good action gamer, okay? But like this like brawl type is just not my thing. So like if I wanna get through the game these games, I have learned that just focusing on one style for me is better than trying to be good at both styles. Like, I need to master one style rather than be like semi-decent at both. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel I've, it works better for me in these games because I'm just not that good at it. <laughs> I'm really not. I just, like, I would rather be a master in just the agent style than try to fuck around. <clears throat> four different styles on four different characters. Yeah, this is why I sucked at those games, man. I just can't. <laughs> I'm not good. <laughs> I'm not good enough. This is why you have a main in fighting games. Yeah, it's like you have your strong suit instead of like being a jack of all trades. It doesn't really work for me in these games. <laughs> ah. Getting surrounded, first thing. Good way to start. ただ、大手すぐやけど、so he's a pussy, is what you're telling me. The kitty of Dojima. Is that Majima? I just have flashbacks. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Anyway. Um. I just had like flashbacks to Majima, like in a truck, just driving through a building. <laughs> uh, anytime, like there's like a high-speed car coming at me, I just like immediately think it's Majima. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so on edge right now. Sorry, I'm so on edge right now. 
<laughs> 準備運動にはうってつけの雑魚どもや踊れ I like uh, that, that Shishido is his name I like him We know pussy we kitty yeah I'm I'm kitty I am in Majima's clothes, yeah, that's true. こんなおっぴらに基準会とやり合って立場上まずいって話だったろ。せやから顔隠してるやないですか。それに西谷会長さえ潰したらその後はもう誰のうちに文句言え。短期決戦で言ったらいいんです。俺とね、we can do that. <laughs> I think we're ready now. Except for the fact that I'm not drunk. Which let me go fix that. Let me just go get drunk real quick and then we can roll out of here. time and take in the music oh yeah for sure right after today i'm adding this to my playlist i like how this car is just in the middle of the street that's fine let's get rolling so you have a was on judicial kill you sir he's standing right to a ジンゴンハの出です。ジンゴンハ。昔、東条会に何度も潰されてきた韓国マフィア。その生き残りの荒野。メンバーとはちりじりになって、西谷会長も自分の執事を隠し、日本人として生きてきた。で、持ち前の
<笑>とんだ失礼をどうやら仲のいいバディとはいかんようで This looks like a big battleground. Saksengonaru, <laughs> ほかは流れで頼ませよ。悪くねえ、サクセンだ。だがいいのか確かに下には、お前にとって関西国道の鏡だったんだろ。憧れたもんの上を行くんが大人注文です。いつまでも書き込まんまじゃあかんやろ。
I just rolled up. Yeah, it does blend in with the tattoos. Uh, this looks threatening. I'll take that. view of the port. That guy has a gun. Not on my watch. Give me that. Oh wait, no, not that. Okay, that, that, that didn't quite go according to plan. Make me shoot. No, go, no, go, you Do you think he gets custom shirts made to match his sleeve tattoos? Oh, absolutely. Okay. And we're just taking a smoke break. Oh. like fine wine his personality even i love how like much riz he's just acquired what old age does to a motherfucker i guess i thought i was punching down the door <laughs> Everything's on fire. Oh. Oh, that's right. そっちの犯人。それでごまかせてるつもりかよ、シシド。さすが。
そんなのが目的じゃねえだな金なら渡せ組も十分稼いでる今さら鬼人会敵に回してまで欲しがるかしかも桐生カズマが生きてたこととはつながんねえ<笑>なあ桐生あんたももういいだろう顔見せてくれよ<笑>やっぱりだ道島の竜<笑>なんだよあんたが全盛期の時にぶち殺したかったな<笑>システム俺一人で行くお前は手出すなええ<笑>お手紙拝見できますわ<笑>お前キリュウとはどういう関係なんだシシドウ鶴野も一枚噛んでたよなまさかお渡せの頭も承知かどうでもいいだろうそんなことはあこれからあんたを叩きつけ<笑>別に恨みがあるわけじゃないこいつは仕事だだからこの間の喧嘩じゃお互い消化不良だったよなあんたは俺に負けた気がしてねえようだし今度は勝てるとさえ思ってる要はすっきり蹴りがついてないにゃー<笑>そうだな確かにくだらねえ話はどうでもいい今俺が聞きてえのはお前らの悲鳴だいい声で泣けよ She knew was just gonna. Okay, this whole building's on fire, bro. God! Damn it! I was doing so good. I refuse to use any heat actions on this guy. I wanted it to just be fist on fist. Where is hot suit? Yeah, we should. Just take his suit. I don't think we I 
よしじゃこれでお前何をなんで西谷に生かしとくんです殺した方が楽に決まっとるだがするのはジャカシーもう済んだことやそれに鶴野の頭も全部承知してますなんだと最初から西谷を殺す気だったな。なんでだそこまでやる必要はなかったはず。殺す必要はあったんです。そして、生かす価値のない男やった。あの西谷潤は何昔、俺の射程で組から逃げた若いのがおりましてな。続上がりでまだ二十歳くらいのやんちゃ坊主でした組を無断で抜けるのは確かに重罪や簡単に許してたら他に示しがつかんけど相手はガキやじっと探すふりだけして俺は見逃すつもりやった<笑>何があった俺が放免したそのガキは西谷はけじめつけなあかん言うてわざわざ見つけ出したよその組のことやっちゅうのにどっから聞きつけたんか多分うちの親父にええかっこしたかったんやろ俺が見逃すつもりなんもみんなお見通しやったで知らせを聞いて俺が駆けつけた時にはもう<笑>生爪ズメ剥がしたり鼻をそいだり刺した腹の傷いちいち火で炙って西谷お気に入りのフルコースが終わりかけのとこやったもう助かるようもないそのガキは山に一気埋めにされようとしてたせやから俺はガキの頭に銃でとどめさしたったもう苦しまで済むように俺もあの会長にはよういたぶられました。基人会の闘技場では、試合に勝てんやつ、体弱ったやつはすぐに間引かれる。その時会長は、さっき頭の言うてたフルコースでもてなしてた。生き残るためやったら、何でもやるしかありませんでした。せやから俺は。つい今さっきのことやのにもう後悔してますあんな簡単に殺すんやなかったもっと長いこと時間かけて地獄に送るべきやったキュ俺は極道を解散させるっちゅう親父の話を聞いてすぐに賛成しましたけどそのわけはあの人らみたいに小難しい理屈やない極道が滅びなあかん理由は他にもあるんとちゃいまっか西谷みたいな下道をのさばらせるくらいならとっとと消えた方がええ騙し討ちで人に殺しの片棒を担がせた後じゃなきゃもっと説得力があったのかもな俺らも消えた方がええ人間です自分だけかっこしてみよう思うても所詮同じ穴の虫なや Shit. よっしゃみんなご苦労やった鬼人会の頭は潰した俺らの仕事はここまでやあとは親父の出生待つええなふっ
The suit. Huh? Uh, dude was stabbed how many times? Somebody had to take his body. There's no way he's alive and walked away himself. Somebody had to take it. Who else is here? It's not a rubber knife. He definitely died. Oh my god, no way. This is the final chapter. I, I don't think that he's alive. I think that somebody else took his body out of there. さきほど鶴野さんから連絡がありました。三代目西谷誉は死亡。貴人会の拠点も焼けたと。鶴野は初めから西谷を殺す気でいた。ええ。近江連合の解散を前に西谷の排除は避けられません。その最も確実な方法
<clears throat> I'm still thinking about whether, um, Nishitani lived because of stabbing uh, with a rubber knife or the other thing is that um i'm wondering if they gain anything off of accusing the watase family of murdering the kijin family so like nishi i'm thinking of the scenario of like okay so nishitani's dead he definitely died but then he somebody from the family came in took his body away or maybe it had to be probably multiple people what the, what the fuck somebody got a gun what the hell so like if they take his body away and like show that he got murdered that that would prove another prob- that would prove to be another problem for the Watase family. I guess- I'm trying to guess in that scenario, they would be, um... Oh, there's some fucker still alive. Uh... Holy crap, it's so hard to, like process what would happen. I'm, like, trying to think of, like, the repercussions. So, like, yeah, Kijin family takes his body away, turns it in, proves that the Watase family murdered the Kijin family, and that they're shutting down the Omi Alliance to cover it up, maybe? This is where I think it's going, but I'm not really sure. I need a whole thing of sake for this. Finally, sake. Because, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't think Nishitani lived. I, I don't think he lived. I, I'm just... I think I'm fixated on that. But on the other hand, he very well could be alive. Because Shishido's line after he stabbed him, he said, that should do. As in... Oh, I could have stabbed him more. <laughs> but maybe what I did wasn't enough to kill him. That's still bullshit. That's such yuck as a bullshit, man. I can see I can see the plot equally going in each direction, so I'm like very torn right now. But then again, we need a final boss. So if Nishitani isn't alive, who's gonna be our final boss of the game? There's also that. We do need a final boss. trying to think of other options of who the final boss could be. Fuck if I know. There's a tax app? Yeah, the game tells you whenever you get gold rank, I think, that you can fast travel. You just go to your smartphone. A master system? Wait, am I missing something?
Oh, I am missing something. I Oh, this is where you play those games that you get. Oh, I've gotten several of those. That, oh, that makes more sense. I'll play with it later. I don't want your help, punk. Maybe the final boss is, um... I feel like what a very Yakuza thing to do would be... The final boss... Deceased? Meanwhile in Yokohama... Okay, so now they're doing Yakuza 7 flashbacks. Oh! You ever want a reminder? Remember the fact that that guy is still not fucking dead from 7? I forget his fucking name. If you ever wanted a reason to be pissed off, realize that that guy never died. That fucker. The boys. Okay. They didn't, I feel like they didn't give away like the key points of information from Seven in there still. So I think it's still fine to play before Seven. <laughs> え、彼あれだけ持ってくや。色つけて腹取るわ。おお、釣るのは。久しぶりやの。あんたも忙しそうやないか。まあな。明日になったらやっと肩の荷を下ろせるわ。そうか。頭に移るやろ。明日の出所祝いはその景気づけ。渡瀬組が忙しいなるわ。むしろそっからちゃうか。確かに。せやな。けど、頭の襲名を一番喜ぶはずやったが、西谷会長や。I it would be a very Yakuza thing to do if, like, Nishitani was dead, Shishido... I don't know, you can't really fake that. The final boss is Shishido. Or Saruna. <笑>西谷会長にじっくりなぶられながらごつなったんやろ身も心も奴隷にされとったんやなあの人は関西国道の鏡です可愛がられて光栄でしたふん西谷会長のことは親父も胸痛めとるはずや明日は明るう出迎
明日は誰が何しおるかまるで見え<笑>久々にヒリヒリしますわヒリさんはどないしてるまだ大道寺一般 At the very least we know one thing is for certain gonna happen We're gonna see our boyfriends again いよいよですね、キリュウさん。座禅中なんだよな。ええ、ではお構いなく。<笑>いいさ。<笑>いつでもどこでもできるのが座禅のいいとこだ。大道寺にとって極道の解散は、言ってみればどうでもいいことでした。しかし今になって風向きが変わってきたようですんあなたはご存知かどうか青木亮という都知事が荻窪先生を追い落とし後釜として民事党の幹事長になりました彼こそが表の政治と裏の謀略で近江や東条会に首輪をはめる権力者です若くして図抜けた力を握ろうとしていますそれは大道寺一派にとっても目障りこの上ないでも明日突然近江連合が解散すれば青木には深刻なダメージでしょうつまりあなたのしている仕事は一派にとっても有益ということです加えて渡瀬組から受け取った500億の資産<笑>ただ飯食いと言われたあなたが誰よりも大道寺に貢献しているそうやって金で手のひら返してると安く見られるぞ命を救われた恩もあるまあそれは私の個人的な話ですがどうした今日は嫌にしようらしいな部下との密なコミュニケーションは組織運営の基本です勉強になるよまあそんなわけで今の仕事が済んだら少しのんびりしてくるといいでしょう。私から上の者にあなたへの褒美をねだっておきます。Final boss is Hanawa. 褒美ここにこもりっぱなしでは息も詰まります。休暇で一人旅なんてどうですいい気分転換になりますよ。沖縄やカムロ町はさすがに避けていただきますが、なるべくご希望に沿います。<笑>一人旅か。普段はあまり頭にないかもしれませんでも改めて考えれば一つくらいどこか行きたい場所はあるでしょうそういやいつかハワイに行きたいと思ってたは何か思い入れでもユミが言ってたんだ<笑>結婚式といえばハワイでしょう<笑>何かのバカ話の時にポロッとね由美というのは沢村由美さんですね沢村遥の母親あなたにとっては最愛の女性ナナーラヒル記念協会んひまわりという片田舎の養護施設で育ち夜の町に生きた由美が憧れた場所だその教会がハワイにだから俺は死ぬまでに一度この国から出てこいつをその場所に届けてやりたいと思っていた<笑>俺が唯一弓に送ることができたプレゼントだ<笑>キリュウさんにそんな素敵な思いがあるとは知りませんでした<笑>花は,はい<笑>余計なお世話だ確かに私の悪い癖ですアイスと結婚を約束していたわけでもね若い頃俺はずっと思いを伝えられずにいたやっと口にできたのはあいつの死に際だったんだキリオさん<笑>やっぱり今のは忘れてくれハワイってのも
たまたま思い出しただけだ。Oh, that makes it so much more sad. How does Ichiban end up there? I can't get a good idea. 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 あんたに用意できるもんじゃねえ実を言えばあなたが望むものは分かっていますしかし沖縄の子供たちと会わせることだけはできませんああよく分かってる I hate the idea that, like I said, I don't know anything about Yakuza because I only just saw the Ichi Buns trailer. But I think it's pretty obvious that you can tell that the, the the trailer is set in Hawaii, right? So like, I hate the idea that like Kiryu is just so done with everything. Like he just wants to be at peace. He just wants to rest. Like. Fuck, this man's been through so much hell, right? So, like, I hate the idea that, like, he finishes up this story, he goes to Hawaii to, like, fulfill Yumi's wish and be really sweet. And then he gets like, he meets up with Ichiban again, and then like he gets caught up in everything again. Like, I hate. I hate the idea that he just like gets swept up into everything again whenever he's on vacation. And like, he's not gonna get a fucking break. <laughs> And the other thing that I don't like is that... That was like some nasty foreshadowing. I want to say more, but I'm going to cry if they keep going. Just take my hint. <laughs> because I want to say more, but I don't. <sighs> 
いえ大したことやないんですが明日の話ですもろもろ説明しとこう思うてせやけどここじゃ何ですから明日親父とは蒼天堀の外れにある建築現場で待ち合わせです親父は無所出たその足で来ますんでバシッとスーツに着替えてもろうてから近江連合の本部へ向かいます私は俺が来ると知ってんのかええ弁護士づてですが親父にはあんたのことを何もかも知らせとる俺らが西谷やった時あんたが居合わせとったこともそうかその説は騙すような真似してすいませんでしたシェお前が説明したい話ってのはそっちか後悔してるわけやないやり直せたとしても俺はやっぱり西谷を殺しますただ騙し討ちであんたに手を汚させといてあいつは殺すべきクズやった自分は正しかった言うて詫びも入れんのはわおそれはあかんと思い直しました明日をもって俺は何の肩書きもない元ヤクザやそんなもんに頭下げられたとこであんたにええことは何もあらへんせやけどほんまにすんませんでした極道として生きてきたのは俺もお前と同じだすんませんじゃすまないことだらけお前だって今本気で許されると思って頭下げてるわけじゃねえだろ<笑>お互いやっちまったことはこの先の人生で背負っていくしかねえ大宮登場会を解散させたとこでそれは同じだ要するにそれはお許しいただけへんということでキャプテンにもう一つ質問したいわけだから。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。ああ、そうですね。重ね重ねすみません。<笑>で、話はそれだけか。い,いえ、一つだけやけど、ええニュースもあります。んさっき、近江連合の本部に侵入者が現れました。その一人が元登場会の、カスが一番って男で、キリュウさん、ご存知でっか最近、18年ぶりに無償出てきたんですうっすら聞いた記憶はある18年前は俺も檻の中にいたんだな別の無償だったがそれより春日は何でオウムに侵入を春日はもともと荒川真澄の子分でしたそれで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、それで、そそれで、それで、それで、そ他の王に殺される可能性が高かったんですだから荒川はギリギリ殺さんように春日を救うために撃った大した離れ技じゃねえか春日はその後荒川の真意やら解散計画のことやら全部知りましたでおやさんとしては荒川の呼びかけに応じて大阪へ出てきたっちゅうわけです明日解散宣言の時も俺らと一緒に備えてくれる戦力として期待できんのか
マジマゴロウとサイジマタイが相手に合格やったそうです<笑>もちろんカスガはもう何人か仲間連れてましたけどそいつは確かにいいニュースだ<笑>明日うちの親父が解散切り出した時はっきりどうなるか読めません信用できるもんはほんの数にせやけど親父と登場界の六代目はその場の近江全員に戦前布告する覚悟です二人を守りきって解散を遂行するのが俺らの仕事やああいざって時は俺もあいつらの盾になるその用心棒代込みの500億だったんだろう<笑>恐れ入ります<笑>ほなキリさん明日に備えてゆっくり休んでください Everything's coming together. It all is coming together. This is it. Let's do it, friends. Oh, much to the master. Oh, as you much to check this. You must just take what you never got the mazua. Yoga, you know, I said I knew Mukai to go ago. Musho de no demuka. One last karaoke round. I thought about it. Oh, me then go, Wakagashira demo, on a jicoto de. But I don't know how much of a mood swing I can handle right now. あんたも十年食らってはったな。親殺しの罪で。これから大見ぶっ壊そういう俺らも似たようなもんやけど。なんやシシド。急におじけづいたんか。長年あった極道の組織と歴史を俺らだけで幕引こ言うんです。Oh
What Tase finally said it. He finally fucking said it. He's only trying to fool himself. Uh. お前も大悟。わしらがお前切ったんとちゃう。時代がわしらを追い詰めたんや。政治家や警察の皆様が そうらしいな。今やったらまだ第三の選択肢を用意できる。組を解散して新しい受け皿でできる限り多くの国土を救い上げる。これが遅れれば遅れるほど、わしらにできることはなくなってくんね。ほんで、より多くの国土を路頭
At least he's got nice nails. I mean, if you're gonna fight... Might as well have nice nails while you're at it. に<笑> I'm actually wondering if that's where his scars are from. なんで。おっしゃる通り。俺は西田に会長にずっと命握られて何年も地獄を味わわされてきた。そこに手差し出して拾ってくれたのはあんたや。頭。Rubber <laughs> plot. その恩を後で返すんか。ガキンコ <laughs> ゴミくず同然やった俺が今じゃ肩で風切って街歩いとるずっと憧れよった眩しい夜を生きとるんやで強い顔に立って初めて分かった力と恐怖で人を支配する中のはこんな気持ちええもんなんやなお前俺が食
あんたらがいらんいう大見の組織は俺らが丸ごといただいたるそのためになら憎い相手だろう You wanna make Watase fatter to look like Peter Griffin? Why? He does look a little bit skinny without the suit, but I mean, like, that's the, the suit. That's what, that's what suits do. But he also has been in jail, so that also could be a factor in his physical build. But I also don't remember the first game that you meet with Tase. Is that Yakuza? Huh. Two? Wh which game? <laughs> oh my god, I don't remember where you first meet the guy. Five? God, I do not remember. I remember meeting him. I do remember the first meeting. In my brain, I remember the first scene. And I remember being really impressed with him. It was at some bar. We were at a quarter table. I, I remember. I remember it. I can picture it in my head. And I also remember him looking a little bit wide back there. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like why cure you in three. Wide Watase. He left. The, he leaves a damn good first impression though for like meeting a character for the first time. He's good. Taxi driver Kiryu. <laughs> no. You're gonna need like way more bitches to take down Kiryu. Hey. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I don't have heat. Oh, I forgot to fill up my heat cage before this. Oops. Um, well, let's start off with getting drunk. I only want like a little bit of heat to start off with. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, they're gunning me down so hard. Tani, this is personal. Taking you down. Oh god. Through a fucking thing. Where'd he go? Really? I don't to do Oh, okay. Apparently I gotta get over there. Oh, my, my god. Spider-Man Kiryu! More like Spider-Cat. Spider-Cat Kiryu. Wait, your health is full again. How's that fair? Oh my god, the last! Or I'm gonna die. That was a really good laugh. <laughs> That's, yeah. That's some hardcore Nishitani.
Ooh. Oh. That's gotta hurt. Oh, wait, the other guys are still out there. Um Hold on, I'm uh, me and Shishido, this is personal. Watase. Oh, I should wait, I should let the little Watase take care of his little bitch. Wait, Watase, do you, okay, I thought Watase was gonna be on Shishido, apparently not. Okay, it's fine. Saruno deserves it too, so it's okay. Bro, no one invited you. This is a 1v1 match, get out of here. Respect. This dude has no respect. a nice headbutt. I killed him. How's it going over there? Get him, Watase. Oops. Go get him, guys. It's all you. Maybe we should kill him with a drone. Get fucked. Are you gonna kill him? <laughs> what would Watase do? Are you gonna do it? Why don't you use your spider gadget? Who has it? You could have used your spider gadget. Fuck. Wait a second. Jesus Christ, he's metal as fuck. Noise. Yeah, I've kind of forgot about the fact that, like, when you find Watase in 7, 
I don't think he's in a wheelchair, but he's like standing there and doesn't. I don't think he fights, or maybe he doesn't. I for, forget because he might have been injured from this battle still. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Wow! Thanks for kissing my ass. Wait, what? A new suit? My suit is fine. <gasps> There's the Watase suit! That's, that's it, that's it. <laughs> ここ<笑><笑> The suit just completes the picture of Watase. Oh, that's Kiryu's outfit from Yakuza 7. Damn it, they have to make it canon! あ、ほんのかぜ。親父は腹まで刺されとるんやで。それに今日のために準備重ねてきたんはこの俺や。これからって時に外されてたまるが。全く。なんでそこまで上のために体を張れるのか。極道というのは気が知れません。I you wanted to kill him before Hanawa. もう大見の本部行ってええよ。うちはここでお見送りや。お、上流、何？あんたに初めて会った時は、ここまで世話になると思ってなかった。ありがとな、赤目。改めて礼を言う。何や、そんなもんこれきり最後の別れみたいやん
確かに<笑>似たようなもんかもな鬼が出るか蛇が出るかまあ最悪に備えとったら間違いないやろさすがに本家若頭の出迎えともなると壮観ですねこの人たちに向かって組は今日で解散というわけですか<笑>もう黙っといてくれ待たせ<笑>傷はどうだ今人生で一番の痛みや<笑>顔が引きずらんようこらえとる I think that Watase is the real gorilla around here 俺が守りきってみせる誰にも指一本触れさせやしねえ。おい、やめや。こ<笑>れてまうやろ。カシラ、よくお戻りで。お疲れ様でした。私はここまでです。無事終わることをお祈りしています。いろいろあったけど、世話になったな、花輪さん。上流、あなたはこの先も。Stop reminding me, motherfucker! Go away! 必ず生きて戻るように。ああ。This is like one of the most badass scenes in history, man. <laughs> so many legendary people in the same motherfucking room. Wazuka no Rinzu de Wazakusta Chi Kansai Omi Rengu wa Tachi Agirata noa, Hyakunen Ijimo Mai ni Narimas. This is the same thing. Wazuka no Tikitai Sulu Soshi to no Koso Omo Hikyokoshi. Oku no Jimmy wa Ushina Arata Rikishi no Arimas. Chiki Jimmy no Minasami no Kurta wa. 我々に対して恐怖感、威圧感を抱かれた方々も多く、誠に申し訳ございませんでした。<笑>つきましては、現会長、および組は駄菓子は、渡瀬正郎の連盟により、本日をもって、関西大見連合を解散いたします。嘘やろ大阪府警本部長を取れどどらいなってますやんかしら何を取るんやガッデシーンズソーゲン登場会六代目道島大吾だ登場会なんでそんなんがここにこの間ですね登場会も近江連合と同じく本日をもって正式に解散する俺と渡瀬さんは互いに今回の組織解散の見届け人だこのことは病床にある近江連合会長並びに若頭代行荒川真澄も了承しているあアホ抜かせこれは私この裏切り者か<笑><笑><笑>のはれなんや Majima Onisan. I heard that. 
Not just Majima san. Oh, that dude. I totally forgot about this guy. Is, uh, am I thinking of the right guy? Tendo! That was his name. Tendo! I forgot he existed. Gonna be completely honest. I totally forgot. Look at all these legends. Too good. This is too good. くそ。始まりますね。うん。狙われるのは私と大吾だ。誰も近づけさせる。Daigo and Mutase just standing there. That's such a good moment. That just like made me so nostalgic of like my first experience in seven, just seeing that for the first time. What? That person? What are you talking about? That's the two legends. <laughs> <laughs> That's Bar for Watase. Oh, I'm. I think I'm friendly firing. Wait, my my cigarettes are great, but at the same time, like they they are friendly fire. I'm pretty sure. Hold on, I need alcohol.
れで全部け<笑>やっ Ichiban's like fighting with all his whole ass. And Kiryu just throws a fucking cigarette and they all die. Kiryu san. 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 用心棒の派遣元は大道なんたらいうお寺さんやな大道<笑>これ以上は察してくれやわかりましたさあここはもうえ They wanna say hi so bad これがご案内します<笑> They wanna say hi to each other so bad It's funny We all thought this was a sub story for Kiryu back in 7. No, it was a main story quest. Jana Kasuga. Hitotsu Karitokuze. Oh. You'd be surprised at how many dudes look like Kazuma Kiryu, right? I don't know. 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 けどこれで全部しまいかオウミも登場会もアワと消えるわけやなおおせやほんならパーッと打ち上げでもどうやうまいホルモンでもつつこうやご活躍の用心棒さんも一緒にな悪いが遠慮する<笑> 少しくらいええやないかもともと俺はお前が死んだなんて信じとらんかったでキリュウちゃんあ、that <笑> そしたらもうちょい芝居に付き合うてるわせやからまた帰んのやおおあ何よ何よ偉い先の困った名刺取るあいつは俺の客だまだ蹴りがついてなかったんだな何お前しばらく身内に言わなったんかそれがあいつが強いかよ俺が生きとる限りお前らはこっから通さんゴミ連合ぶっ壊す運や
Not the suit. Oh. お前らいいかおおここでこいつらの弾取らな極度は本物にしまいえたったこんだけ相手に本物をされてこの先惨めに負け犬の楽園をされて生きるんか俺らは最強のひがつなすり シシロ。Yeah, dude, he's running on some mass adrenaline right now. Dude, they all look like old men. Oh, my aching back! Oh, God! I got beat up by a fucking cigarette! That's colorful. Wow. Pretty. あいつを黙らせねえと。いいんだ。気が済むまで言わせてやる。I've always really admired the relationship between Daigo and Kiryu. こいつらの裏切りは何年も前から始まっとったんや。ずっと裏に隠れながら糸引いとった。俺が踊らせて。高見の見物決め込んだったんや。そんな奴らに好き放題されてええんか。浮気あるけ。大切な時。わしが決意か神にしたれ。登場会の鎮火すども殺したれ。邪魔するもんは皆殺しや。血の雨降らしたるわ。
just watching everybody else fight. fight as I like just spider gadget my way out of this. Look at Majima go. Dang. You go, bro. You go. I didn't even notice the guy was in front of me. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Literally not paying any attention. You guys doing daigo you got him daigo daigo you turned his back to the enemy bro daigo what are you doing daigo take him go I think they're saying the same thing to me. I just want to see them fight more. That's all I want. I think they're done fighting though. They like literally aren't doing anything anymore. Oh, okay. Majima kicked him. That's something. あいつが本部の方に。ケリつけようやないか。キリエ。オールライト。シシト。お、どれだ。また終わっとらない。行けよ、キリュ。こっちは俺らで十分や。ザコは任せとけ。are you guys just gonna stand there next time though? Even though we just met, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude is literally wearing like the tattoo on his back and still tries to pull that shit. Kiryu was a lost cause. I'm wondering how I want to kill him. I'm going through the ways in which I kill this guy. You may. 
てっぺん取ったエリートには分かれへんやろなドリームお前らが勝手に奪っていったものの大きさが<笑>分かるさなんやといくら名を消してもいくら自分を偽っても根は俺も同じてめえより強いやつがいると聞けば喧嘩して倒したくなる自分が一番強いということを証明して勝ち誇りたいそんなもんだせやったらなんで大解散なんぞに低下したんやなんで俺らからヤクザの夢奪ったんや簡単だ<笑>俺らヤクザもんが持っている夢なんてのは毎日を必死に生きている人たちの夢に比べたらゴミみたいなもんだからだ。キリュウ、お前のせいで最後の最後に全部ぶち壊しや。お前だけはこの手で始末したる。その後は沖縄のガキどもへ俺を揺さぶってるつもりなんだろうがお前とはここできっちり片付つけるどんな小賢しい真似してこようがなはあその言葉全部そっくり返したる何が伝説の極道や全員まとめて Do you see how they all reacted to me, buddy? I bet you wish you had friends. Oh. Oh. We're not going easy. That was a powerful pun. Oh, his old sword broke. Gotta get another one. We're down to our last two health bars. Or maybe there's more. Oh, not the chandelier. Music's going off hard. Oh, nope, he has a lot more health bars. He's pink. really would have fucking hurt if I had gotten hit by it. Um...
Might as well. I ain't fucking around either. took out my heat gauge by getting hit by that. God damn it. Woo! Cure you with the sword. What will he do? Oh, shit. Actually using the gadget in the cutscene. Let's go. My boyfriends are down there. They're fine. Oh, okay. That was too early. Alright, well, I deserve that. Expect a QTE. Damn, that's hot. They still haven't taken Watase out of here. Get the get him the fuck out, dude. What are you waiting for? Oh, that's right. Where are you going? Where are you going? いくで。もうここでやれることはない。うわ、だせ。よかったらお送りします。またさあ、乗ってください。<laughs> All I gotta say is, like, here you got some really hot boyfriends. I know I've said it, you know, quite a few times, but. Oh, that fucker is still alive, isn't he? Daito,じゃ、ペテンにかけるなんてよ。たかが極道にしちゃ大したもんだ。個人的にはこのまま別殺してやりたいとこだが。いいエージェントになるから生かしとけだとさ。Wow. 
これから一生きっちり首をは,はめてやるからな安心しろ西谷も一緒だから寂しくねえぞ。Welp. 2020. Poof. Mezrasi this day. More than I was at Kimashtaka. Mada Shabano Kuki and Nukekin Nakutena. そう言ったら住職が一本くれたんだ悟りへの道は遠く険しい<笑>たまには一息入れるのもいいでしょうどうもここで悟りを開けるとは思えませんね<笑><笑>これは手厳しい新しい仕事かいえあなたはもう少しほとぼりを冷ました方がいいでしょうから大阪に続き横浜でもご活躍したばかりですまあそうだな伝説の竜が後継者に選んだのは春日一番そういえば彼はあなたとどこか似ている気がします人の罪をかぶって刑務所に入ったりするあたりいやそれはヤクザのお家芸でしたか後継者なんて俺にそんなおこがましい考えはねえよただあの合同解散の後結果的にあいつが背負っちまった重荷を少しだけ軽くしてやりたいと思ったあなたが働きかける前彼は出所したてのヤクザ崩れでしかありませんでしたそんな男が権力に溺れる青木亮を止めるまでになったんです大道寺としても青木の独走は見過ごせないところでしたあなたの後押しがなければきっと春日の活躍もなかったのでは俺があいつを強くしたわけじゃねえ強いあいつにたまたま俺が巡り合ったそれだけのことだしかしですねさっきから何が言いてんだそろそろ本題に入れよ用があってきたんだろおっとそうでした大道寺からあなたの今回のローをねぎらいたいと褒美が出されましたうんあなたの功績は大きいですよ前にも言いましたね何せ500億の利権ですついでに私個人としては命も救われているそれを仮のままにしておくのはあまり気持ちいいものじゃありませんそこでまずはこれをお見せするこれをお見せすしめて見るでしょうそこは沖縄のあなたのお墓です我々の隠しカメラが撮影していました桐生一馬の大事な子供たちを監視するためにその日はあなたの命日でしたハルト君は4歳でしたかかわいい盛りですカメラが遠いのは我々の監視がバレないためなのであしからず最後にお参りしている二人は太一君と綾子さんですところがこの後レンズが反射してしまったのか綾子さんがカメラに気づいてしまいます Oh my god they're so grown up isn't that that kid that, that really fucking annoying kid Taichi was the bully, wasn't he? Oh, 
向いてる隠し撮りしてんだ多分俺たちのことじゃあもしかしてこれおじさんが仕掛けたとかおじさんがやっぱり死んでなかったとしたらそうかもなヤッホおじさんあんた何やってんのだってこれおじさんが見るかもしんないんだろえダメでもともと別にいいじゃんねえおじさん俺のことをわかる大地<笑>それにあやこ姉ちゃん<笑>こっちはみんな元気はるか姉ちゃんもはるともねシロも泉もコウジミツオリオナエリみんな元気だしそれに実はみんなおじさんが死んだのを信じてなかったりする<笑>本気でだよ He's crying. おじさん俺消防士になったんだ何かあってみんなが勇気を出せないでいる時真っ先に人を助けられる人間になりたいと思ってさ多分おじさんの背中を見て育ったからだよ<笑>私はね小さな会社でジムやってるちゃんと就活も頑張ったんだコーチもサラリーマンになったリオナはアパレル業界エリは今保育士目指してる<笑>イズミはトリマーになったの<笑>マメで練習してた、oh, マメ、that was a dog's name とりあえずフリーターシロは理系を専攻してるハルトは<笑>今、やんちゃなんだよね<笑>目離すとすぐどっか行っちゃってハルカ姉ちゃんとユウカさん困らせてる<笑>きっと何か事情があるんでしょう生きてたら絶対俺たちに会いに来るもんな<笑>もし本当にこれを見てたらさ何か合図をくれない<笑>もう私たちは自力で何とかやってるしおじさんに面倒見てほしいなんて言わないただもしかしておじさんは一人で寂しいんじゃないかなって合<笑>図が来たとしても朝顔のみんな以外には内緒にしたくそれでいつかおじさんが帰ってきてよくなるまでおとなしく待つよそうそう私も大地ももうお酒飲めるし絶対楽しいよいっぱい話すことあるんだから<笑>あそうだ俺たち明日また来るよおじさんに渡したいものがあるんだはるか姉ちゃんたちもカメラに話してもらいたいしおじさんに渡したいものってそっかそれいいねじゃあまた明日じゃあねおじさん<笑>あいにくカメラは現地のエージェントがすぐに取り外しました監視対象にバレた以上妥当な判断です<笑>そうだなあ,あ,あなたにこの映像を見せることが果たして褒美になるのか検討をしました<笑>いや見せてくれた感謝する<笑>太一君はさっきあなたに渡したいものがあると言っていましたね隠しカメラを回収した翌日その場所へ朝顔の子供たちがやってきて絵の入った筒を置いていきましたですが死んだはずの桐生一馬が絵を持ち帰ったと思われるわけにはいきませんそこで現地のエージェントは中の絵を撮影だけして元に戻しておきましたハルト君が描いた絵です
真ん中にいるのがあなたでしょうか<笑>うまい家だなハルト<笑>見ろよ4歳ってのはもう字が書けんのか最後に会った時あいつはまた喋れもしなかった<笑>なのに立派にやってますよはるかさんも他の子たちもまったくだ<笑>あいつらはとっくに自分の足で立って歩いてる<笑>なのに俺は一人で<笑>寂しいって口に出すことさえできずにいた。マイガール。こばなれてきてなかったのは。俺だけだったんだな。ノー。さっき。男の子が。何かあった時。最初に勇気を出して、動ける人間になりたいと言って。出ました。子供たちにとってあなたはそういう人間だったんですね。今の俺が耳の痛い言葉だ。ここで座禅する以外やることもね。そういえばあなたには花輪さんが休暇で旅を進めてましたな。もう上にも話は通ってますよ。休暇の期限は決まっていますが、その気があるならぜひ。ただし誤解のないように、キリュウカズマの死はこれからも貫いていただきます。どこへ行こうと、我々の組織があなたから目を離すことはありません。修行は終わりか<笑>私もこの寺も形ばかりのものですお望みなら修行はどこででもできますよお行きなさいいやそれはハワイですかいやそいつは最後のお楽しみだ<笑>相変わらず自分のやりたいことは後回しあなたらしい<笑>主任はよほど桐生さんを信頼なさっているということでしょうかただの計算づくだよ手柄をあげたもんには見合った待遇を与える心象を出罰ってやつだ。彼には恩を着せた方がいいし、それで組織の他の駒にもいい影響を与える。もう一つ、道島の竜は味方として心強い分、敵に回したくはない。ああ、だからといって慣れ合いはしない。その点、花輪君はよくわきまえてんだろうもちろんです偽名の身分証クレジットカードなど一式揃えておきました手間を取らせたな一派からの許しが出たというだけのことですあなたとはあくまで管理するものとされるもの友人にでもなったと勘違いされては今後に支障をきたしますああ俺とあんたはそれでいい上流では偽名に不向きです勝手ながら鈴木太一をしておきました<笑><笑>昔この偽名で身を隠していたことがある<笑>存じてますよあんたらにそれを教えたことはなかったはずだな<笑>
This is so awkward. I can't laugh. I can't. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and this is like the most awkward laughing I've ever had in my life. あなたは人生を手に入れるために自らの消した男の一人。どうするにまだまだあなたの知らない秘密があります。so you Hanashinimo Really? <laughs> God, I have a headache. Dozo, Okiotskete. Kiryuza. Matana.
my god. Really? Get there, give me a sec, I'm so sorry.
Hell no, man. I have so many thoughts. Oh my god, I don't know where to start. Well, I don't want to cry anymore, so I'll get the most emotional thing out of the way. And that... There's a... There's like a sense of... I really hope I'm wrong, but like there's like a sense of finality. I don't know how to describe that. But there's, there's so much foreshadowing. And it feels... It feels final for Kiryu this time. As in... As in, I feel like in Yakuza 8, I feel like they're setting it up. just it it really feels like they're really en ending the saga now where it's like oh sorry i have like a really big headache now from all the crying um, but, oh, I feel, it feels like Seven was the game to introduce a new protagonist, and, and then you get to the end of Yakuza 7, and they, you know, Kiryu passes on the torch to Ichiban. So, like, that's the start of it. Then I feel... I feel like Yakuza 8 is meant to end it all. And I don't just mean Kiryu retiring. It just really feels like that now. It just, it really feels, it really feels like, set, like properly set up now. It's like, I'm so scared. <laughs> like the final things that he wants to do in life are pretty much done. really hope that they make him happy in the end like you know you know if they're gonna if they're gonna kill Kiryu in the next game 
I at least hope that he gets to see the kids. Or something. Just hurts a lot to like, you know, we're we're with this guy for so long. <laughs> like how many Yakuza games? Like <laughs> ten? I counted Ishin. But like, it's a lot of fucking games. Uh and Kiryu is just, he's dealt with so much shit that, like, he can't ever be happy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of years has passed. he still can live like you know many years after this but like i don't know i don't think they're just gonna pull a yo he's retired now card i, I think i think i i, I also the other reason why i feel that way is because they developed this game at the same time as 8. So I think from a writing and standpoint, I think from a writing standpoint, like, they were prepared to end the saga. They wrote this, and then they wrote 8 at the same time. To, like, finish it off. I don't, I think... I, I think it all adds up. <sighs> That's just me, though. Oh, God. <laughs> I, like, literally couldn't breathe for a sec. <laughs> might do old man Kiryu, but no, I think that he's just gonna full-on die. I don't think he's gonna retire and we're gonna see him as an old man. Like, no, I think we're gonna see funeral scene and all. That's what I think. That's what it feels like. It's not something I can explain, it's just experiencing the writing that the way they present it makes me feel that way. I got no other explanation. Ugh. But... I guess we'll, uh... We'll see how Yakuza 8 plays out here in, what, three months? It's not that far away. I look like shit! That's the first time I looked at my own camera. Oh my god. I need to go away. I look like shit. <laughs> um, but no, I, I do have some more thoughts. Um, we can discuss a few more things here before I go, like, die for the rest of the day. Um, other than, other than, like, my impending doom Kiryu thoughts. Um, no, I wanted to touch upon the fact, uh, on the, on the fact of, like, You know, if someone is new to the Yakuza franchise, which I'm sure there are many of you here watching that are, I don't know the best way to experience it, honestly. Like, I think there's a slight bias in being a person that's played all the games, right? 
but I don't think that you need to play seven before this game. I think it might serve better. So like, if you're a person that has time to play all these games, I think that, I think that you do get slightly more impact if you play seven first and then Gaiden, but I think that the way that they set this up is fine. So no matter what order you play it in, both of them are viable. Does that make sense? Like, I, I, I don't think the order in which you play them matter. There is hints in this and seven, sure, but nothing is like the hints that they, not the hints, like the, the plot points that they give you in this game, I don't think really take away from seven's experience. Uh, like they spoil some things, but they don't get to the meat of it, in my opinion. They don't get to the meat of Kiri, uh, like uh, Ichiban's story. So, uh, yeah, like, so I think my final verdict would personally be like, if you can, I think that you should play seven before this game, but it's not a game breaking thing if you play them in the other way order, if you play them in the other order. That's what I think. Well, it's not even the fact that the spoilers were there for a couple seconds. You have no context. They don't say, like, I don't know. I, I think that, I think that context is everything there. Cause you don't really, like if you played this game without knowing seven, you'd be like, oh, Ryu Aoki sounds like bad man. Rise to top, bad man. <laughs> But you know, I, I think the, I think the true impact of that relationship is Ichiban, and you don't know the Ichiban side of things with that relationship. That is what hit the hardest in my experience with Seven, not the spoiler in itself of like, okay, it's Ryu Aoki. I, like, who really cares about that? I think, I think that like, even if you know the destination, it's all about the journey and how you get there. So I don't think it's... That's why I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing if you play this before 7. Like, yeah, you're gonna get some spoilers, like, about Arakawa, about Aoki, but, like, you still don't know about that special bond and relationship that Ichiban has, and also with his, you know, with his crew. With his posse, so to speak. So, yeah, you don't, you don't have any of that. Um, I think it actually could be interesting to see uh, people play this game and then play 7 and to see how it impacts them. I don't see a huge difference personally, but uh, I still, like, at the end of the day, I think I still would recommend playing 7 first and then this game. But it's not a necessity. I don't think that people should say that it's a necessity to play this one beforehand. Or to play seven beforehand. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Words backwards. To play seven before this. That's that's my take though. <clears throat> oh my god, I think I've answered this like a million times. I'm not playing the demo. <laughs> I don't want to know anything about Yakuza 8, please. We are blind. Where would I rate Gaiden? I feel like I should do a Yakuza tier list. I've never done one. I feel like before Yakuza 8 releases, I should put out a video of like rating all of the Yakuza games. That's what we should do. I've never done it. The only game I haven't played though, I'm still missing one game. We've played all of them, but we haven't played Dead Souls. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm one down on the roster. I, I should play Dead Souls at some point. I, I would really like to. I would really like to personally.
Yeah, no, I definitely will. It's not like a maybe, like I'll definitely do a, a like a ranking of my Yakuza games for sure. I just really got to think about it. I definitely need to remind myself about like the finer points because like I remember my memory with the Yakuza games, like they all blur together a little bit, but I, I can never remember like what Yakuza story is what game necessarily. I just remember like a sequence of events. <laughs> I remember it as like one big long sequence instead of like splitting it up into games, if that makes sense. So I, I definitely need to like brush up on which stories are which game. That's I I need to remember that. Uh, yes, that'll include judgment too. Uh, it'll include judgment. Well, I don't think I'll find summary videos. I think I'll actually watch my own Let's Plays of the games. <laughs> it's funny because like, when I think of Yakuza, there are three scenes specifically that pop into my mind right away. The first one being uh, chapter five in Yakuza 0 with Nishiki and Kiryu in the woods. That scene's iconic. So I remember that one. The second thing that comes into my mind, like vision, the, the second picture in my mind <laughs> is, uh, is it Kiwami 1 that has Majima everywhere? Kiwami 2. I think it's Kiwami 1, uh, but I, I, I have this vision of going into the cabaret club and the camera slowly pans up to Garomi. <laughs> <laughs> and I will never forget that moment, dude, because <laughs> I just never saw it coming. <laughs> so that's the second scene that just like pops into my head instantly without fail. Like <laughs> Yakuza 0 scene, Garomi, just that slow pan up is legendary. It's just unbeatable. <laughs> I seriously love it so much. Um. And, uh, yeah, the final one is definitely the final scene of Seven with Ichiban. Holy fuck. And note, I'm, I'm gonna note here the dubbed, because, like, Kaiji Tang went off so fucking hard at the end of Seven. It was heart-wrenching. I, it's just, it's just so vividly in my brain just how beautiful that scene was executed. It was, it was done masterfully. Oh, on that note, by the way. Um, oh God, Takia, uh, Kuroda's, mm, you know, you know what I'm saying, but mm, at the end, mm. I don't want to cry again, but holy hell. Um, oh yeah, the fourth scene that pops into my head, uh, I'll give an honorable mention to Haruto being thrown like a football. That was great. Uh, that, that, that's also a legendary scene. <laughs> like Haruto being a football is great <laughs> you'll never get better than that shit man. Uh, yeah no I'm actually really excited for uh, the dubbed of, of 8 because I thought that the dub of 7 was done so well like all of the characters like I just I loved them all so much. Kai, like, I I think that KG Tang is like a, the best casting decision ever. <laughs> like, it's so good. I'm very much looking forward to that. Hmm. <laughs> I know red shirt Kiryu. They should bring him back. They also should bring back that fucking dump truck from Seven. I mean Six. Sorry. Kiryu's dump truck from six. Like he got that dragon bussy, if you know what I'm saying. Like, Jesus Christ. Alright. But I'ma head off. I have one final thought. <laughs> Before I wrap up my guided adventures here. 
If I had to rate this game. If I had to rate this game from like a scale of like zero to ten. If I had to rate this game from zero to ten, it would. It would be. A, it would be a two because there's no Akiyama. 